I self-published it. I didn't even know how to publish a book. I had to Google it. So I Googled, how do you publish a book? And then it brought up, oh, you should reach out to a self-publisher or you can go to a to a um, publishing company. And I was like, oh, no publishing company is going to want to do this, you know. Like, it's quite a niche thing. And so I self-published it and I got 50 printed. Well, no, I was going to get 50 printed. And my girlfriend said, oh, get 200. And then if we're still selling them in a few months, then um, then sweet, no dramas. And then so those first 200 sold in three days. And then, yeah, so we got another 500 and they sold before they arrived. <laughs> and then, yeah. And then it just went nuts. And then, so then I reached out to a publishing company because, you know, there were nights we were up till like three in the morning packaging and sending books and stuff. And I'd still have to get up for work at six o'clock, you know, and I was like, oh, this is too much. And then so I emailed a few publishers and then Alan and Unwin, who published it, republished a new version. They rang me back in like 10 minutes and they were like, yep, sweet. They didn't even ask anything. They were just like, yeah, sweet, we'll do it. And I was like, oh, yeah, so I've self-published this book and I didn't know that 4,000 copies was heaps. And so I was like, I've sold 4,000 copies and it's got a bit bigger do you think you could help us out? And then they were gobsmacked. They were like, how did you sell 4,000 copies? And I was like, oh, just on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> and, they <were> like, <laughs> and they had me like, I, I went to meet with the marketing department and they were like, oh, what sort of marketing did you do? And I was like, oh, Facebook and Instagram. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, and it's gone, yeah, it's gone crazy. I didn't, I really didn't expect it. Like, we were the best selling non-fiction title, um, best-selling uh, New Zealand title, best-selling, our second best-selling book overall. The only, the one, only one better than us was like an international bestseller. And then we were, that was there for like a month. And then we've been in the top 10 best-selling books for, or best-selling non-fiction books for a few months now. Damn, that's cool, man. Does yeah. it buzz you up that you're, that the fact that people have a book of yours that you created and that yeah you got a book <laughs> yeah yeah it is pretty buzzy like i forget a lot yeah. and then like I'll, I'll i'll um you know i'll see something on someone will tag me on something on on instagram or facebook and I'm like oh that's pretty cool and then like yeah a couple of times i've been places like you know i went to uh my neighbor's house and they had like a street party thing and I went there and I took them a book as a bit of a koha and then they already had two and then they're like, oh, we've already got one and then I was like, oh, kai and they're like, oh, did you write it? I was like, yeah, and then they're like, oh, can you sign it and stuff? <laughs> and then like at, at my work, I went to a course and the, one of the tutors there was talking about um, mindfulness and gratitude and I said, oh, have you, I've got a, I wrote a gratitude journal and then he was like, oh, yeah, is that fucker Feta? I've got one on. And then he went and got it, and can you sign it? And then, <laughs> then they got me to do some talks at, at, at the, the Link Alliance, at the, the project that I work for, and a bunch of people brought their versions in, or their copies in, and, yeah, it's crazy. Because uh, what is it telling you, Abhita? What is it telling you in terms of what people are wanting and, and needing? Oh, I think so. I wrote it during um, during lockdown, during the second lockdown like I ran out of ran out of supplies from my 10 and my 10 wasn't open so I was like oh what am I going to do now and then I was like oh, I'll, I'll carry on with this journal and then I think like you know coming out of COVID everyone was a bit down and you know the world's been a bit of in a bit of a slump and like yeah I think people just needed something to pick them up a little bit like like I don't should be like like you know mental health is real you know and this might not you know mental health problems are real and I don't know that gratitude is gonna gonna fix that like and and you know if if, if you do have mental health issues you're probably better off going to see a therapist or something like that but what gratitude can do is is just help you to recognize those good things instead of getting stuck in that rut like of the media telling you, oh, you know, everything's mm -hmm. too expensive and mm -hmm. life is shit and blah, blah, blah. You know, and, and just taking a moment to go, hey, you know, it's not so bad. I've got my family. You know, we've got food. We've got the power still on. 
you know, if, if, the, if the best thing you did today was wake up, you know, they're still pretty good. Band-Aid.